Hey everyone, it's Courtney. It's my birthday. I'm 25 today, and today is the day of the drawing. I'm giving away this beautiful pattern of Belle's gown by Brooks Books, uh, which I got on Etsy accidentally. I ordered one, but they uh, Brooke accidentally sent me two. She told me to keep it and pass or pass it on, and I'm passing it on to one of you today. Uh, so. I am just going to go write down all the names of everyone who commented on my last video, number 19, my retreat video, what color of fabric they would stitch Bell on, all of my subscribers who entered into the drawing. So I'm going to do that, get the bowl, and draw names in just a sec. And the moment you've all been waiting for, I've got about 50 names on strips of paper in this bowl. Doesn't look like that many, but trust me, they're in there. All right. And the winner is Colbin 2. Congratulations, Colbin. You commented, Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie. I love Belle. Would love to stitch Belle on a light blue 16 count Ada or maybe light blue 32 count linen. I usually stitch on blue. Happy early birthday. My birthday is also in April. Yay, spring babies. Yes, yay, spring babies. Happy early birthday, Colvin. I hope that you really enjoy stitching this. I do recommend going with a linen. I personally prefer the way that they look. Um, I'll be contacting you uh, in 24 hours if you haven't commented on this video yet. I'm hoping that you'll have the chance to be surprised. Um... <laughs> by seeing the video, but uh, if you don't happen to see it today, I'll, I'll contact you tomorrow and get your information so I can mail you this beautiful pattern. Congratulations. <laughs> and happy birthday to me. I thought I'd take a minute to show you guys um, an exciting thing that's entered in my life the last couple days. Uh, I've been uh, preparing to basically make an organized storage area for my craft things and Yesterday, my husband hung the shelves for me, and so now I finally got everything nice and neat. Well, most of it. I've got some stuff down there still, um, but the bulk is put away now, and I thought I would show you it because I think it looks adorable. Um, I've got my sewing machine, which my mother-in-law gave me, my basket, which is holding notions and some miscellaneous cross-stitch tools and sewing tools and things. Um, got, uh, some cute boxes, document box and a shoe box or photo box that I made cute labels for, uh, holding scrap fabric and my extra DMC. That wooden box there with my name on it was a gift from my sister-in-law-to-be, Christina. Uh, she's going to marry my brother in December and she sent me that box, uh, by way of asking me to be her bridesmaid. So there were some goodies in there related to the wedding. But it's so pretty, and so it's now a decoration. This empty space is going to have a pillow on it, because this shelf is six feet in the air, and I think my cat would like to sit up there sometimes. Uh, I've got my regular DMC floss boxes here, and on top of my printer is... Uh, this is how I store the colors for my the current page of my Heaven and Earth, which I have been working on lately. Um, these I'm pretty happy with. This is my new solution for my fabric storage. Um, they aren't really organized except that ones in bags are up here and ones that aren't in bags are down here. But I got these little containers in the bathroom section at the container store. So they're just white mesh wire, but they were perfect for that. Um, a magazine file that is holding all of my paper patterns, almost all of them. The mirabilias are over here in this box, which is also from the container store, um, along with several of the projects, the small projects that I have kitted up. I keep them in these paper bags that are uh, from Stitches from the Heart. When you buy something at Stitches from the Heart, that's how they package it up for you to go home. No plastic bags there. And then a couple more boxes holding some desk supplies and then my specialty floss in there. And there's my cup that I won at the retreat. So that's everything on my craft shelves right now. Um, the area is still being perfected. Um, so I'll show you another time. 
when we've got the rest of the stuff in here. But I also thought I'd show you where I'm at. Quick progress update. Um, I've been focusing on my heaven and earth lately. This is going to be my fourth page finish, working on these shoes on the shoe shelf. Um, I've already worked on this quite a bit today. I stitched all morning because it's my birthday and I have the day off work. Um, I think it would be really awesome to be able to finish those yellow shoes today. We'll see if that can happen or not. It is more possible than it looks because the yellow that I've stitched is most of the little like confetti, yellow confetti. I've got most of that done and so the bulk of the body of the shoe is like the same six or seven colors. So if I can, you know, if my needle will fly, maybe I can finish those today. And then when I have been sick of full coverage, I've been working on uh, Fear Not. This is from Little House Needleworks. The sample pictures over here. And I'm doing a purple conversion. To this wonderful little Bible verse chart. And it's coming out really nice. This is on Sprite. Some picture of this plus it's a pale purple linen. And I'm stitching in hand, uh, which is why it's all crinkled up right now. But I'll, I'll iron it when I'm finished. So, yep. Those are my two projects I've been working on lately. And uh, that's all I've got for you today. Congrats again to Colbin for winning the belt chart. Um, I will be contacting you if you don't contact me first. Um, that's it for today. Until next time, everyone. Happy stitching.